We begin with the violent protests outside a school board meeting in Glendale, California, when masked activists clashed with parents opposed to how the district is teaching gender and sexuality. They need to stop asking little children what they sexually identify as. Children are not sexual beings, nor should they be. The sexualization of children is pedophilia. Nothing more, nothing less. I think it's really important to be here to stand up for all children and not be in exclusive. We are an inclusive community. I'm a Christian. I go to an inclusive church. I believe in God, and God loves all. So, yeah, we include everyone in our church. Everyone, everything. Man, Satan, the demons, everything. We include everyone in those doors. Again, everything, every idea, everything. So now, we as parents, we are criminals, man. We are doing something wrong by telling the government, hey, look, we don't want our kids being taught certain things. We don't want them being taught about gender, queer theory, and, you know, we don't want them being taught about all these different things, these LGBTQ things. We don't want them being taught about this stuff. Sorry. And if you dare to speak up and you dare to say, hey, look, no, that's not happening. We are not putting up with this stuff. No more. If you dared to speak up and you dared to say something about that, then you are labeled a hate group. Again, if you organize and you say, look, man, we don't like this. We don't want our kids being taught this stuff. Then you are automatically labeled a hate group. And this is where we are in this country. This is where we are. And again, guys, it's really scary. It's really scary that, again, parents can't come together and say, hey, look, no, 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 no. Again, you're not teaching our kids this stuff. You're not doing it. We are not going to sit back and allow this to occur. These are our kids. And again, that's why school choice is so important. It really is. Because again, man, people have got to understand that they don't tell us. They don't, the government does not tell parents what their kids should and should not be exposed to. Again, we're not talking about reading, writing, and math and that kind of stuff. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the sexualization of our kids. Stop it. Sexuality, I mean, this should be common sense. But if you feel similar to those parents and you want to say in your child's education, you might get put on a hate group list. The far left Southern Poverty Law Center has added multiple parents' rights organizations, uh, labeling them as hate and anti-government groups akin to neo-Nazis and the Ku Klux Klan, including Moms of Liberty. The SPLC's statement on the designation reads, quote, at the forefront of this mobilization is Moms for Liberty a Florida-based group with vast connections to the GOP that this year the SPLC designated as an extremist group. They can be spotted at school board meetings across the country wearing shirts and carrying signs that declare, we do not co-parent with the government. Hmm. The group hijacks meetings, preventing officials and parents from conducting their normal proceedings. Uh, we'll get to that hogwash in just a moment, Kennedy. Mm. But let's start with Glendale, Glendale, California. You know, this meeting was about making LGBT month something in the school, but it was about much more than that, as the parents noted. One parent said, my daughter is afraid to change in the locker room because she knows another guy could come into the room. When I asked the principal, he told me there were no cross-gender bathroom policies. Another uh, Daily Signal excerpt on this. Additional documents revealed that Glendale staff have attempted to incorporate LGBTQ plus materials and ideology into curriculum. One assistant principal even told staff to teach children that every person is by default queer and socialist. 
This is about more than a month. It's about parents' rights. Mm. Um, I, I think they need to read some Adam Smith and they'll know that by default, according to natural law, we're actually natural capitalists. <laughs> and every society that has existed in history has bared that out. Uh, this is a very convenient shield for them because if they are engaged in this front of the culture war, they don't have to worry about math and reading tests. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, you know, you're a parent. Mm -hmm. Kids talk about a lot of stuff. There are trends in behavior and attitudes and there are stupid challenges on TikTok. They also talk a lot about gender identity. They don't talk about algebra, oddly enough. Uh, they don't right. talk about reading and, and learning different languages on TikTok. That's what school is for. Right. And that's what a lot of these parents want, especially in Glendale, which has a large Hispanic community and a large Armenian population, which tend to be more conservative. This entire argument is just a massive reason why we have to have school choice in this country. That is not an extremist point of view. That is completely pragmatic, and it serves kids of every background in every neighborhood, in every state, in every family. You know, I'm glad you mentioned every background, because, Kim, one thing that stuck out to me, at this California protest, you had Armenians and you had Latinos. Right. There was another protest in Rockville, Maryland, parents standing up for their kids. And in that community, it was Muslims and Christians who came together. So this spans people of very different ideologies who just say, we're parents, please don't ask our, our six-year-olds about sex. Absolutely. And, you know, I was thinking when I was growing up, they had um, the Pledge of Allegiance, like I'm in third grade, Pledge of Allegiance. And then we said prayers in school and we had, and then all of a sudden there was a group that was like, no, I'm offended by that. We don't want that. We don't want prayers. We don't want Pledge of Allegiance. I go into fourth grade. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Why is this different? Why is it different? And we're labeled a hate group if you just want to be informed. And you may say, I don't want this for my child. You can't dictate my child what I can have him or her exposed to. You know what, guys, man? We got to be honest. There's something going on in this country. There is something going on in this country. And again, if you dare to stand up to it, if you dare say, hey, look, I don't want my kids being taught about gender queer theory. I don't want my kids to be taught about sexual identity. Again, we don't want that kind of stuff being taught. If you dare to speak up and say that, then that can be labeled as hate speech. And if you get together, with other parents and you say, hey, look, you're not teaching that kind of stuff in our schools, then you can be labeled as head group, basically a domestic terrorist organization. And uh, again, they will put you on the watch list. They will watch you for daring to stand up, for daring to say no. But, Again, Black Lives Matter, they can go out there, they can protest, they can basically cause looting and stealing and burning stuff down and everything else, but that's fine. That is fine because it's Black Lives Matter. Yeah, that right there is fine. Not a domestic terrorist organization, but a group of parents that get together that say they don't want the kids to be taught about gender queer theory or whatever, man. Some kind of LGBTQ bullshit. If, again, if parents get together in groups and say no, they will be labeled a group. And again, we, we have to understand, man, what is something is happening in this country. Something is happening and we are losing our rights. But hey guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.